Hey, welcome everybody. This is uh, the beginning of my Rogue Tech series. Uh, Rogue Tech is a um, basically full overhaul mod for Battletech. It has tons of mods included in the package. Um, it's easy enough to go online and, and uh, type it in and find it if you want to install it. The new installer that they have is really, really easy to use. It's just basically a double click and it just installs everything for you. Just follow the prompts and you're good to go. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time explaining it. I'm just going to actually get right in and play. But first I want to explain a little bit about the scenario I've kind of already set up. Uh, as you can see, we're already possibility of bankruptcy uh, projected. And that's because I've sort of um, moved the timeline forward slightly to set up a kind of role-playing um, scenario that I've kind of thought might be kind of cool. Um, basically what I've done, if we go to the barracks here, um, normally in Rogue Tech you start off with about eight pilots in total, including yourself. But I've gotten rid of all of them, and I've hired some just regular pilots here. And these regular pilots actually represent four of, or three of the people that I used to, to game with. Um, so Flatliner, Height, and Vane Skater are the three pilots um, representing people I used to game with all the time. Um, Ground Zero go. obviously is my main character, it's me. And then uh, I've got a guy Major. called the Blank Spare. Now if one of my pilots get killed, I want to make sure I've got another pilot around just to be able to re replace them. So none of these guys is, are really actually going to die. I will just rename the Blank Spare and replace them later on with another Blank Spare. I'll just rename Blank Spare as to whoever gets killed just so that we maintain our team here. Um, but basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go to the navigation. We're going to go to the star map. Um, Rogue Tech basically changes the star map from this to this. So this is the entire inner sphere. Um, normally when you start Rogue Tech, you start off here at Galatea. Um, but as you can see, we're all the way over here it's at New St. Andrews. So the idea kind of is that, you know, um, Dr. Murad, who's the... the um, the ship's scientist, the Argos scientist. Um, basically, she's from one of the inner systems. Um, she hears rumors about, you know, an ancient um, Star League era ship, which happens to be the Argo that we're flying right now, um, crashed out in the new St. Andrews system, which is where we are now. Um, so she hires a dropship of, with whatever money she has available, hires a uh, leopard dropship with, with four, um, mech warriors to go out and try and reclaim this ship. So basically we've gone all the way out here with the hopes of salvaging, you know, a almost a completely intact ship and everything and we get here and the thing's a piece of junk. So now we're stuck on this ship. We've got no money. Um, we're in the middle of nowhere. As you can see from the map, we're like basically out in the deep periphery. But we do have the Argo. So now we're basically starting as a mercenary company um, out in the periphery. We're going to move our way around the periphery here um, and try and strike it big. Dr. Murad's just happy to have a Star League era ship that she can work on um, and we're happy that we've got you know travel and some salvage. So yeah, so basically let's quickly go through everything here. The, in our mech base, the mechs that we're starting out with here are a dagger which is basically a 35-ton locust. It's sort of our um, a proto Raven mech. Um, it's got improved defense, stealth, and sensors. So that's our scout mech. Then we've got a trebuchet, which is um, basically our missile mech. It's got a couple of LRM 15s, uh, triple pluses, with accuracy plus accuracy plus evasion, ignore, and plus one damage, which is you know excellent for a damage dealing mech. We've got a panther here, which is a modified panther with a heavy PPC in the left arm and a small laser. We got a fire starter, um, which is a prototype flamer. It's got superior flamer output, which is great because this thing can melt a lot of stuff. And then we've got a spider with basically um, four medium lasers and some endosteel and ferro fibers to make it a little lighter and more maneuverable slightly. Um, so that's our starting, this was this was the random lineup I got in the game, and basically all I did when I was moving from the inner system to the outer system was slightly change the um, lineup. So I bought, for instance, the trebuchet, I bought the uh, 
the LRM systems on the way out here um, in a variety of stores on different planets. I switched the Spider's actually a Venom, so it's a 35 ton mech. It actually had the uh, heavy PPC on it, uh, but what I put that in the Panther um, and basically just loaded up this with medium lasers. Um, in our components, you'll see that we've got like nothing left. I had to sell basically everything to get here. I did pick up a large laser triple plus on the way here, um, which kind of broke the bank slightly. Um, but I had to sell pretty much everything that we had to start off with. So I, I'm starting off with basically nothing. Starting off with 45,000, which really, you know, with uh, 27 days to go before the end of the month, is could be uh, hairy if we're uh, not careful with uh, the kind of contracts we uh, we take. So uh, let's just jump right in and get started. We need to start making money, obviously. So if we're going to go to the command center here and find out what kind of contracts we've got going on. Um, ultimately, I'm trying to look for something really quick that I can do, make some quick money. So at least this first mission, I'll at least have 154,000, 155,000 in the bank so that I don't have to worry about this next month coming up. So let's find a couple, something really, really easy. I think with the mechs we have, we're rated around one skull. Um, and I want to try and do something that's not going to be um, combat. So what's stealing as a form of flattery? We've long suspected that there's a Cretan research station hidden in New St. Andrews system, and we finally got wind of its possible location. We need a few brave and plausibly deniable mercenaries to secure location for dropship, dropship extraction of any personnel. So that's going to be a capture base. That's going to be a combat. At one skull, we might face two lances, or maybe one lance and some turrets. Um, what else do we have here? Biological sample. That's only 103,000, so we're going to stay away from that at first. So I think what we'll do is we'll take stealing as a form of flattery. We're going to negotiate some money here. Now, so just so you know, um, Rogue Tech, actually, you have actually drop costs. So when you, the original Battle Tech, you it's free to, to uh, drop your mechs into combat, but this actually costs you to mobilize your guys based on the actual value of your mechs. So it does cost to drop, and when we come back, it's going to cost to repair the actual armor on the mech. It's not free anymore. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm negotiating for money for stuff here. So at 217000 that's not going to be, well, it might be just enough. It'll be enough to cover our finances, but our drop costs are probably going to be around thirty to 40000 And then our repairs will vary depending on how much damage we take, which I'm hoping we don't take a lot at one skull. So let's try this. I think with 27 days left till the end of the month, we'll be able to do a second mission right away. So let's go with this way. We'll just accept that. So now I'm going to put the Panther in front here. Trebuchet second. I'm going to throw the... Firestarter 3rd and the Locust 4th. Now the Dagger has got really light armor uh, comparatively to the other mechs, but it does have really good evasion, so I'm not too worried about get him getting hit. So we're just going to load up our guys here. Um, I'm going to drop height here. Um, let's see here. Flatliner. It doesn't really matter. I mean, these guys have got such low stats at the start. Normally, you know, these pilots have your starting pilots will have like four or fives or f you know at least fours across the board to start so we're pretty low here so I'm gonna put I'll just throw a flatliner here and I'll put a vein skater here um, and the only reason why I'm putting uh, height in the fire starter is because he's got juggernaut which um, has been switched from the original battle tech to it's been moved to the uh, number five position on guts so it you know it, it increases his melee da melee damage and since the fire starter is going to be in close to the flamers anyway, I figured it's probably a good idea to put my melee guy on the fire starter. So let's deploy and see how it goes here. Okay, so I'm just going to be cutting out all the little bits in between of the the landing and the uh, actual accepting the contract just to shorten the videos slightly. All right, so we're going to attack this base. It looks like there is most likely turrets and this looks like there's a there's a force of guys there to start so eliminate the opposition and take control of the territory all right so we can use this hill to our advantage as long as we stay kind of behind the hill in the trees we can avoid the turrets to start we'll draw out whatever supporting units they have take them out first of all it's reserved so we're all going on the same turn here 
and then we're just going to start moving up. Let's get our uh, scout mech up here. Um, On my way, double time. Yeah, see, that's these are turrets, I think. If I had to guess, nothing is moving over there. So I'm thinking that that locust is going to need a bigger engine because this fire starter is like crazy right, fast. Which is a good thing, I mean, if I want to be able to heat up another mech fast and take them out of the battle, that's going to be great for him to get across the battlefield. Okay, so I don't think... I wait your command. I don't think that there is any uh, mechs to start here. I bet you it's just turrets, which is a bonus for us because it's going to be easy to kill, but it means little salvage, yep. unfortunately. I'm just hitting the spacebar too to uh, speed up the mechs until we get into combat. Um, also a little trick, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of, but if you reserve past turn I'll three, my own um, the turrets go on turn three. So if you reserve past turn three, turrets can't reserve. So they are their turn is done for this round. Uh, so it's always good to be like, let's see if we can find out what's in that turret there. We'll be moving again before them anyway, so... I'm rolling. Be careful of additional forces. Reports have they say they have additional units in the area that are rallying back at the base. Expect contact. The base may have gun emplacements, eh, Darius? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for telling us, boss. Kind of got wind of that already. I don't think I got. I'm not in range. I can tag this though. Let's put a tag on it. Makes it easier to hit him. Light laser turret. Ah, eh, he's tagged. I think it gives me plus one to hit him. Not much, What's but up, boss? better than nothing. All right. None of these guys are going to be able to attack, but that's okay. Confirm. All right. We're not going to speed everything up at this point. We'll just go normal speed here. Those people that really haven't seen Battletech, it's uh, kind of nice to be able to watch the mechs move. It's move. I gotta say, this game is like, you know, my sort of teenage dream come true when I was playing Battletech. You could always imagine, you know, the the cardboard cutouts of the uh, plastic or metal figures that you had actually moving, and it's kind of nice to actually see Technology. that in this game. It's because there's, it's, I don't know, it's just such nostalgia. They've, they've they've uh, crafted the uh, vehicles and the uh, mechs really well here. What okay, so we're going to move with? height back. Just like this, so they can't well, actually shoot them. Now hopefully they don't put us in sensor lock. Let's brace. We're going to reserve everybody else here. Let's see what they do. Nope. So we're going to reserve past the uh, turrets. Alright. Let's see Wait if we can order. get some missiles on this guy now. There we go. Let's put some LRMs down on this guy. Should be no problem taking this turret out, I think. Yeah, those are pretty good hit chances. Now, I've also tried to make the mechs as, as heat neutral as possible, so we can... Whatever weapons we have on us, we can fire the entire battle. I don't like having to cycle weapons around. There we go. Target eliminated. So most of the guys should be able to Waiting alpha strike forward. all the time. So now, the question is, do we want to shoot this turret this turn or wait? The SRMs on this dagger are... Um, have uh, heat rounds in them. On so basically they act kind of like flamers. They do very little damage, Ready but uh, they'll forward. add heat to enemy mechs. Um... So once again, he's good as a scout, but not really good as an attacker. So we'll just brace him there. And next turn started. So I'm thinking I can probably... Need something, Chief? Let's see if I can get that heavy PPC and the small laser to take out this turret. Confirmed. And then we might be able to take out the other turret with the uh, trebuchet. Even though I technically can't see him, it's saying I can. So uh, let's fire it and find out what happens here. Okay. Oh, it's reinforced, so I'm going to have to hit it with a bunch more, I think. Yeah, it's got 61 left. So let's try 
our other turn four guys. If you can get close enough with flamers, can you? No. Not there, anyway. I don't want to try and expose him to the other turret, though. Maybe I should just sprint down to where... Can I actually hit him, though? If I sprint in. Even here, it's still out of range. There's, no, it's still it's in range here, but those flamers aren't going to do enough damage, I don't think. I had to, even if I hit him with all the flamers, it's not going to work. So let's just Good see what we can do with this guy. I think the missiles will do more against hardened targets. So let's move in here and open fire and see what happens here. Okay, those do five. No, not quite enough. So maybe our flamers now should be able to do the tick do the job here. So that's still at a no, that's in range right there. Oh, great! Now I've hit him with the tag and the. Uh, Roger that, commander. And the narc beacon, so it's easier to hit him now by a considerable amount. Yeah, so this should do it. Off with all nice. That's it for the turret. Now let's get that last turret with the. Uh, see, they go now. That's like an AC2 turret, I think. Sniper turret. Two auto cannon, two ultras. I will be done. I will be done. All right. Just gonna walk position. forward rather than running, because it's when you run, it takes more uh, chance to hit away from you. So let's just open up with everything. Hopefully, we can kill this guy too. Confirmed. Now that should be it for this guy. Yep. All right, one turret left. Brought it down, commander. On hostile reinforcements. Okay. Your way. Reinforcements. I don't got eyes on anything, Darius. Why don't you light them up for us, buddy? Wouldn't that just make sense? It'd make too much sense, I think, though. You. Okay, I'm too far away, so I'm just going to sprint down here. Confirmed. And. Um, oh, there they are. Okay, I'm going to reserve then past the turret. Acknowledge, Commander. Okay, so I don't know if it's how many mechs that's gonna be. Ready for but I'm thinking what we want to try and do. Can we get this turret? Ooh. I can see the other mech attack the turret at the same time. Let's do that. I want this turret gone, I think. I am the wind. It's going to be harder to hit cuz I think we're going to be inside the range uh, minimum range for the LRMs. Yeah, it's going to be harder to hit, but looks like there's three guys now over there. This is what? Panther 5T, the heavy rifle and two flamers. So the heavy rifle does 66 damage. It's kind of like an early early style auto cannon. Not quite enough. But I think we can get around with our other guys. I think. Height should be able to get in there, I think. What are your orders, Skipper? Let's get him down here. So these little red triangles, there's going to be a dropship landing, so we have to make sure we're not on the red triangles. Let's go. Once this turret dies, I think that dropship's going to land. It's going to be overheated. Wow. This guy heated fast. All right, let's go this way. Engaging Two flamers. Target. Oh, that should be it. Nice. Turrets are gone. Tango is trash, Skipper. So there's four of them. Four light max looks like probably. Hey there. Let's get you as close as we can this turn. All right. So the goal is to find the most valuable mech they have, and put both the dagger and the fire starter on it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Put both the dagger and fire starter on it, and try and keep them melted and out of the battle while the uh, trebuchet and the Wait panther take on everybody else. And we're going to reserve. We're all pretty evasive here. So, see, we got four chevrons on these three frontline guys. So we're just going to reserve. See what they do. Give them the first shot at us. 
I don't mind an enemy taking the first shot at us if we're all highly evasive. Oh, they're not coming out. Oh, what's this guy? Commando. Ooh. What does he have? PPC snub nose and full set of armor. That's a lot of armor. Oh, he's got an XL engine. And an XL gyro. So this guy's got some good gear. Oh, this is an Arinya. Okay. So this guy's dangerous. Let me see. He's got a... Um, Fusion Core 180, but I think he's got a double-synced engine, so he's really the guy we want to keep heated up. But since Flatliner is pretty warm at the moment, um, question is, do I want to engage him right away, or do I want to wait and let him bring them in? We could set up back here, bring them in along this corridor here. So let's do that. I don't want to engage right away. I'm going to get a drop a little bit of heat here, I think, first. So let's just go, nope, in the woods, yeah, maybe like this. No shooting. So we'll just sprint just back here. Done. Then we'll move Height, Skipper. who's got a lot of speed. I want to get him back and over, I think. Something like this. Because he's got to dart into battle next turn and flame that Arinya. Now, Vein Skater, same thing. I want him to stay away from those PPC snub noses because of his limited armor. Uh, although he can't really... There we go. It's not so bad. Four things of evasion. Nice. And then ground zero. Got to move as far as we can um, to here, probably. That should give us at least three evasion, maybe four. So that's three. That's not bad. It's respectable. Okay, so that's going to cool us all down for this turn. Let's see what they do. Once again, I think what we'll do is we'll reserve, draw them in. See, he's not... I don't know. They probably want us to come out and get them. So we'll see what they do. If they don't come around, we're going to go up this hill this way and take this guy on. But I bet you that Arrhenia comes out. Nope. I wonder if these are urban mixes, which is why they're moving so slow. Well, let's just reserve. I Roger think what that. we're going to do is we'll fully cool off here. That'll mean we're all fortified. Let's do that. We'll brace here. Okay. We've got good armor, so I'm not really worried about those guys. I'm going to reserve, let those guys come in. So, large laser. wonder what that guy is. So we're going to go after that panther on the hill, I think. Arrhenia. Why would it do f oh breaching shot? Oh, okay. Well, uh, yep. let's give him the good news. Let's go to. Let's go see what these guys all are. Just like this. I got you. Because we'll be. I'll move him out first thing next turn. If these guys are too hard to take on. Yeah, there's an Irby back there. Question is, though, is he an AC? What is he? AC 20, no! Okay. This guy's going to be hard to hit. What about this guy? A little bit easier. I think we'll burn up this guy first. But he's still going to fire that AC 20, though. I think this guy is probably more of a threat. Let's see what we can get on him. Two hits anyway. Plus 44 heat, nice. Okay. 
This guy's what? A Panther 8Z. Okay, so he's got a crappy loadout. Let's move. Is there any way I can go where the guy in the hill can't see me? Not really. I don't know. So if I go here, 24% chance to hit. Up here, 21. Yeah. Full speed, no target. Let's close. Oh, we got a target right here. Okay, nice. Tag hit. 29 heat. Okay, I'm thinking that, um... I'm receiving you. Got to move this time. Let's stay away from those two. Let's Rolling. move into here and see what we can do against the, uh, panther on the hill here. Maybe we can blow that arm off. Let's unload on him. Primitive. Oh, not quite. And then I'll do the same thing here. On my way. Put the heavy PPC into him. It's not going to hit. Come on, hit. On nope. Nothing. All right. Let's see what they do. Oh, he's going to melee. Good luck hitting. Works for me. Not sure why you would try that. Maybe they want to get the instability off of him. Alright, so we need to get out of that range of that AC-20. Oh, you little bugger, you're blocking me over here. Um... Eesh. So, at 100 points damage, it's going to blow off pretty much anything it hits here. The arms will be gone. The torsos will be almost completely gone. So let's sprint out of here. Ooh, we can get all the way up here. Nice. So let's do this. Make them really hard to hit here. Let's go like this. Hi, Skipper. Full speed. No target. Skeeter done, bye. All right, so I think what we'll do is just flame this guy. We're going to turn off our two lower chances to hit flamers. Hopefully we can tag him as well. Ten four. I think we put enough heat on that Arrhenia to pretty much... Oh, head hit, nice. To pretty much keep him from shooting this turn. He might shoot one snub nose. Don't know. I don't like this. That large laser's got to go too, but let's get rid of this heavy rifle first. Okay. How's it going? Now let's get you... 48. It's going to be... See... Mm. Twenty-four. Oh yeah, let's go up here. Coordinates received. That way we're out of the way of the uh, urban mech. Hopefully he won't be able to hit us this turn. And let's unload on this guy. Hopefully heat him up a little bit more than we did with the Arrhenia. 59 heat. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Alright. Herbie's having about as much success as I am. Let's see how much armor he has. Not a whole lot. Um, gonna reserve and see what that Arrhenia does, because I think I want to use the trebuchet first on that uh, urban mech. Yeah, see, he's not shooting. Yes, Commander. 
So let's use the trebuchet I'm first. Here. Yeah, let's go right here. On my way. And then we're just gonna unload on the Irby. This guy's so heat neutral, it's amazing. Punching all the buttons. Originally the venom that we have had the had a double heat sinked engine, so I put it in this trebuchet because with those LRMs I wanted to be firing all as much as I can. So that's kind of why I did it. Let's move this guy into here. Yeah. Roger we should that. be able to hit him with the heavy PPC this time. Let's put it right here. Firing. Nice, knock down. Torso gone. Target's taking a critical hit. Sure has. Alright, what's this panther doing? Whoa! You hit with the rifle. That range, too. Okay. Standing by. I uh, am moving out of there. Let's sprint out of here. We're gonna go right here. Which side did he hit? He hit the uh, right side. So let's turn to the left here slightly. Affirmative. And let's put that heavy PPC on this guy. Maybe we can shoot that other leg off. Well, he's dead. We can salvage that. We can salvage that. Well, we can salvage the AC-20 anyway. And then blow the arm off. All right, at Arrhenia. Need something, Let's Chief? panic him a little bit more here. He doesn't have enough sinking to take care of this problem. Yeah, man, let's heat him up. I don't know what you were shooting at with that. 34 heat, not bad. Uh-huh. Give him the good news. Affirmative, Commander. Now these two guys are going to handle this Arrhenia. Keep him from firing. We're going to overheat, so we'll hit him with one flamer. Here we go. And a tag, nice. All right. I live to serve. Let's get this guy shooting at. We're gonna shoot this other panther, the five. It's a five T. What was it? Five what? Yeah, five T. We're gonna shoot him in the side here. Hopefully, blow this arm off. Then he won't be a threat anymore. Acknowledge. Running out of missiles though. Solid connection on that one. I was really hoping we could find something that. Like an ultralight gyro or something, so I can get more ammo in this trebuchet. I think I've only got six good turns of f firing before uh, he's out of ammo. How much does he have left? Find out soon enough. All right, let's good to go. Go. So the PPC needs room to fire. Actually, before we do that, let's. How's it going? On my way. Do this before you shoot me in the back. Let's take care of this guy. See, almost no damage, but 54 heat. He's not doing anything. All right, what are they doing, Panther? Okay, sure. Do what you want, man. That's that's that that works for me keep my left side turned to these guys. I think what I'll do is I'll shoot that panther on the hill. I think I got a better chance to hit. 74, what's this guy? 79. But this guy I'm getting the arm I want. That arm, he's in the, he's in the trees though, so let's hit this guy. We'll do more damage on this guy. Aye, aye. Left arm destroyed. Solid connection on that one. Sure was a solid connection. 
He's just trying to stay behind us so he doesn't get overheated. Oh, he's firing. <gasps> no. Damage critical. I lost a double heat sink. That's going to be a problem. Order, you need to get behind this guy and flame him again. Stand four. Let's get him overheated and then get him off the battlefield here. Let's do an offensive push on him too. I want to hit him in the center torso back. Uh, with two of these ones. Can I do more? No. Two's fine for now. Looks like you're out of position. Ooh. Okay, he shut down. Now he's going on turn three, so I'm going to put my PPC on him. I'm ready. And Flatliner needs to shoot him too if we can get into uh, direct, direct range with him. He shut down. Oh yeah, there we go. I've only got 20 missiles left though. Well, it's going to have to work. Acknowledged. All right, let's get him. S do we CT him or do we try to blow his arm off, get his torso? Because he's got an XL, XL engine in here, right? Gyro XL engine XL, yeah. So if we blow a torso off, that means he'll die, and we can go for this torso. I think. Let's see if we can I have it. not completely wreck him. Okay. I'm out of long range missiles. Yeah, I know you're out of long range missiles. You got three medium lasers. Better than most of us. Alright. Leaving you. Ugh. I don't know here. Gotta make sure my left side is facing them. So let's do this. What's the hit chance going to be here? 84%. That's pretty darn good. So let's move forward as far as I can go on this guy and then shoot this guy. Actually, I can multi-target. Oh, no, I don't want to multi-target because I'll lose my pinpoint accuracy here. Let's do this. Hopefully we can hit that location. Taking the shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let's fire again. And let's go... How much armor does the torso rear have? 45. Oh, jeez. I think we need to go to for the kill here. We need to get him off the board. So let's do that. Well, this looks bad for you. Yeah. Hopefully we can find a double heatsink on him. I just lost Look one last. last round, so... Commander? Alright, they're down to two now. And we're behind this guy. Roger that. So let's take advantage of that. Put everything into his back. Burn. Tagged him. 39 heat. Eh, not bad. I'm your spaniel. Alright, let's put our medium lasers into this guy. 48%. Yeah, it's the same. I'm Maybe going. we can lose this, get this arm gone here. So I think he's only firing once every second turn because it's got re recoil problems with this uh, rifle. So let's just fire on him here. Oh, come on, man. Alright, there you go. Let's find out what they're doing here. They can still do a lot of damage, so... Yeah, like that. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Ah, uh, no, we're taking Stand damage. 54% melee. Go here, it's 54 at the back. 60%. Hmm. Hey there. Let's make it so this guy can't shoot, though. Let's not move, open up on him again. Yeah, look at that. So he's going to run a brace probably somewhere. Yep. And then we'll let Height visit his backside here. A couple of flamers in his backside. 
Yeah, I definitely need to work on the uh, heating problem in this uh, fire starter. Does a really good job of heating guys up, but man, it overheats fast. Affirmative. That should do a lot of damage, yeah. Those flamers do triple damage on uh, mechs that are overheated. That's hence the 45 damage per shot. All right, so let's move back here. Here. Not much of a chance to hit, eh? Ooh. Let's do that. We're just going to fire the small laser at him. Leave this off so we don't overheat. Roger that. Well, at least we got the arm. And then yes, we'll get Flatliner up in here. 67. Maybe we can blow this arm I'm off finally. Here. Well, this whole side is damaged there. Come on, blow the arm off. Yes! There goes the rifle. Right armor and torso gone. Hit. So all he's got to do is take another hit to the head, or maybe we blow that other torso off. Which I think we can probably do next turn. Alright, our turn. So let's... start with height. See if we can get rid of this guy. Unload on him. I got you. There we go. Enemy eliminated. He sure he is. Ready for order. Now, make sure we're not in the drop zone here. Because I think once this guy dies, dropship's coming in. And we don't want to be there when it shows up. So let's shoot this guy's side. How much does he have here? 38 and 40. Eh. Leave off one of the SRMs, I guess. Oh, it's the wrong side. I see he's turned the other way. I'm going to reserve. Acknowledged. And then we'll use Flatliner with the medium lasers on this side, I think. I'm your Spaniel. So this is the side with the left torso now. Hopefully we can blow the left torso off and knock the pilot out. That would be nice. Firing on target. Meh. Asking a little too much, I guess. Yes, Commander. Well, unfortunately he needs to deal Not with a heavy PPC now. It's probably going to kill him if I hit him, but... I don't care at this point. Let's get rid of them. Left torso. That's it. He's done. There's dropship. That should be it. There it is, folks. Mission nice. Successful. So now let's see what we got in salvage. I think the Arrhenia is really the only thing that... Um, had anything of any value that we could use. I know I lost a double heat sink in the Panther. That was pretty bad overall, I think, on my part. Um, so 206,000 after drop costs, but repair costs are going to be a bit here on the Panther. Um, so what did we lose here? We lost one double heat sink. So let's see if we can get that in the salvage because we don't have anything that we can replace it with. And if we can get more stuff that's going to give us some heat benefit, we're definitely going to have to drop it into the uh, fire starter. Not being able to have sustained damage output is a big deal. So, my self-imposed rule is that I'm never allowed to take partial mech salvage, even if it means finishing up a mech. I'm only taking allowed to get the salvage that, you know, is distributed amongst whatever is left over after I choose my parts. So if they feel free to give me salvage, then great. But if they don't, well, then I don't get any salvage. So, all right. So let's see what we can take here. Now the cockpit, um, plus one accuracy with, accuracy with ranged weapons, one recoil with ranged weapons. So that's that's pretty good. Let's drop that in there for now. See what else we got here. Double heat sinks anywhere? Oh yeah, there is. We're gonna need it for sure to take one of those to replace what we already have. PPC capacitor, nice. Patchwork materials, nice. Um, having the extra half a ton on the Panther would be able to 
get me to upgrade the medium laser or the small laser to a medium laser. But I'm thinking the double heat sinks. Well, it's only one is not going to give me that big of a deal. The fusion core we could sell for money, and maybe we should do that first. You see, a more fair suite is how much. Oh, let's take that and we'll sell that instead. I know there's a few other things here that I like to take, like the arm weapon bonuses and stuff, but uh, I think that's what we're going to go with. Double heat sink to replace the one that we lost. ECM warfare suite to be able to sell, so at least we have some good cash. We can last for a couple months, maybe. That's probably going to give me about 150,000 when I sell this. And uh, the cockpit, um, which I'm thinking I'm going to throw on either the Panther or the Trebuchet. Anyway, let's confirm that and see what else we get here. So we got one, two, three Panther parts, Urban Mech part, a couple of flamers, meh. Hand. Um, ECM we chose. So we got three normal heat sinks. Eh, AC ammo. So junk. Alright, so let's re outfit our mechs here and then we'll call the, uh, call this the uh, first um, video. All right, so 19,000. That's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to have to pay it a lot more than that, but um, that's not bad. So let's just say yes to that. So yeah, we got 232,000 now, so we're okay for cash. We got the next month covered. So now we can do a couple of missions, although the Panther's going to take 10 days to fix. Uh, that's okay. A couple of days after that too. So let me see here. So the trebuchet is going to be two days. Panthers ten days. So let's just wait. Mm, let's go to the store here real quick. Because now I'm thinking maybe we don't sell that ECM suite. We hang on to it. So it's the 159,000, right? Maybe we just. Oh, we got two double heat sinks here. Let's sell the AC-20 ammo. We don't need that. I mean, it's 25,000, but still. So we got two double heat sinks. I think we had one left over from the gear I had. I must have had it left over. Two flamers. Let's sell those, because we're not going to need them. Not even as backups. Um, uh, let's just sell that for now. Keep the heat sinks just in case. Two double heat sinks. So let's go to our mech base now. So we wanted to put one here. What I really want is a heat exchanger. Uh, but can I put one in here? I'm going to have to take something out. That's the problem. I mean, I could take out the tag. We do have a tag on the. Uh, on the dagger. I probably should do that. When we get stuff later on, I can drop another one back in, but let's get the double heat sink in there. I mean, it's going to help a little bit. I know it says 36 out of 24, but I think these flamers, I'm not exactly sure how it's working, but it, it might be triple heat, or at least double heat. That would make a lot of sense. 24, 48, so it would be plus 18 over. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably what it was. I think these have to be. I think these put out double heat based on the chassis because the chassis itself does extra flamer damage. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Anyway, we'll just drop the double heat sink in. It'll help a little bit anyway until we can get some more. On it. I'll let you know when that's and then done. we'll just. Uh, let this go. Hmm. As you approach the mess deck, you overhear members of the Argos crew complaining because they're significantly understaffed. Really? Everybody's exhausted from pulling extra shifts to keep things running. It hasn't overwhelmed them yet, but they've got, they have dark expectations about the future. Yeah, well, we're, our ship's full of holes, man. Let them vent privately. Yeah. You loiter until somebody comes along with whom you can loudly greet before entering the mess deck. Several crew members are sitting in small groups, but they all rise worriedly as you enter. You maintain your plausible deniability about eavesdropping by giving them a nod and, and, and as you were. With that, the crew returns to their food much more quietly. But as you expected, having aired their complaints amongst each other, the issue goes no further. No lasting consequences. Okay, good. 
Yeah, well, I mean, look at our ship. It's full of holes, man. So, yeah, let's just let's just deal with the mechs first, and then we'll have a quick look at engineering here. So we got to do a few things. We got to get we, we got to repair the power conduits. Okay, let's have a look at our um, Panther now. We got to repair the pan the uh, power conduits um, so we can get our training module up and running, so we can get a second um, mech bay up and running to lower our uh, mech repair times. So let's pull that double heatsink out. Drop another one back in, so we're back to normal now, and we're gonna put the cockpit in here. I want that breaching shot on this guy um, because that heavy PPC is doing like 80 damage. That's actually doing 96 damage because of the PPC capacitor I've got in here, um, which I think I'm gonna move to this side along with the extra double heat sink because I want to keep this side protected. So we'll do that. But. Um, yeah, with the PPC capacitor in there, the extra 15% puts this at 96. Or 92, I think it is. Something like that. Let's just confirm this. So we got four more days after that to wait. So six days. Let's just do this real quick. Um, go back to the Argo. Okay. So we're going to quickly go to the engineering really fast before the end of the episode here. So the... Argo ships up ship upgrades. We gotta go with power systems first, um, only because it's required by a lot of things, like the training modules, which we I think definitely gonna need. Um, training mod module is gonna give us 30 experience each day. I think each mechware is only getting five right now every day, um, but the 30 a day is gonna really help out because we have low, um, very low skill level right now. Um, and then once we get that done, we want to get a second mech bay which is 700,000. So hopefully by then, you know, a couple of months from now, we might have that fluid cash that we can be able to put the second mech bay in. The plus four tech points and being able to work on uh, two mechs at once is going to really help out uh, in between missions. So we're not like waiting 10 or 15 turns to repair the mechs. It's more like five. Um, yeah, and then after that, it'll just be whatever we need. So if we need more repair and refit things here, we can throw those on add some structure so our ship doesn't actually have a lot of holes in it. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that'll that be the end of this episode, the Breath of Pestilence Gang. So we're going to sign off here and uh, 